Okay, in the last tutorial we looked at blocking the side of the truck, and in this tutorial we're going to look at blocking the um, basically the front part or the front view of the truck. Um, at this point, uh, probably a good idea to save. So I'm just going to call this truck version one, and of course, a good idea to save often. Every time I do a major change, I, I, or even if it's not a major change, sometimes I'll save, but just make sure you want to save often. Um, so we have this, this um, basically the side blocked in, but we don't have the front. So I'll go back to the front here, and I go into this view. Okay, we need to do basically the same thing. We want to get these different shapes in here as well. And probably it's a good idea to go ahead and mirror this now because we don't want to have to try to do the same thing on the other side. Definitely don't want to do that. And I notice also here that I forgot to get the top bumper somehow. So we can go back into the side view, go into edit mode and look at this. And actually it is there, it's just all one piece right now. Okay, that's fine. So I didn't forget it, that's good. All right, so um, like I say, let's go ahead and let's mirror this. So we want to go into seven top view, okay, and tab into edit mode. And I'm just going to do a control R loop cut and just click to leave it right where it's at, which is in the middle. And for some reason, I'm noticing that the geometry is not centered. So I'm not sure what I did, but I must have moved the plane at some point. Actually, I guess when I did it when I extruded the plane. So let me see if I can get this geometry correct here. Actually, I guess the easiest way to do this is just select all of it. And I'm just going to move it over to where the center line is right on the center of the x-axis there. Yeah, close enough. I'm going to have to fix my reference images there, but that's okay. Okay, so then what you want to do, I'm going to go into face mode and I just want to select half of the model and X delete those faces. And I didn't have my loop cut go all the way through, so let me fix that real quick. Okay, select the faces and just delete those faces there. Okay, so now we are left with half of the truck and tab in object mode and I'm just going to add the uh, mirror modifier here. And why does nothing work when you're doing a tu tutorial? <laughs> That's okay. It gives me an opportunity to show you a nice little trick in case you get a weird um, mirror like this. I can always fix this by going into the edit mode, selecting all this and moving this and adjusting the model as whatever, but there is an easier way and here's the way you can do it. Do a shift A and add an empty. Just make it plain axis empty, it's fine. It'll create it right in the center there where your 3D cursor is. And I'll go ahead and rename this. I usually call it empty underscore mirror. Okay, and then go back to your model, select your model. And instead of using these axes, what you can do is you can use a mirror object. And I'm just going to choose empty mirror. And voila, it's mirrored correctly. So now if we go back into solid mode here, and we can see we have our mirror. And it uh, looks like we need to turn on clipping. Let's go back into the view here and go into vertex mode, select everything, and I'm just gonna kind of push it together to make sure it clips. There it goes. 
Okay. And just looking at my reference image, my front front view there right now, just kind of guesstimating where that needs to be. Okay. So before I go any further, I think what I'm going to do is fix my front reference image here. Just move this over a little bit. Okay, so I've adjusted my reference image to where it's hopefully fits it close enough anyway. So now we're going to look at blocking the front. The so tab in edit mode. And we can see we already have the top of our fender here. Like I say, it's not lining up exactly the way it should, but that's okay. Uh, what we do need is we do need this area right here. So I'm going to do Control R. And I'm going to move this over to, let's do like um, kind of an average right there. I'm looking at this point to this point, so kind of in the middle there. And um, what else do we have here? We have the front of the truck is coming down this way. So we may want to go ahead and put a loop cut like yeah, somewhere in there. And if we look at the end of um, where this this air scowl is, there's actually a area here that we could take out, but I'm not going to do that right now because, like I said, that air scowl is going to be a separate piece, and taking that geometry out right now I think will just be kind of confusing and screw us up. So right now what we need to do is we need to look at, there is some, a little, just a little bit here that we can get rid of, but we have to be very careful about what we're getting rid of here. So if we look at, let's see, go into face mode, we can pretty much take this area out right here, I believe. And that's, yeah, that's the front, um, actually this bottom part too, below it. And does that include the top of the hood? Yeah, I guess it does. Which would be these sides. Not that top. And not... Uh, I got this turned around. But should be this area here that we can take out. That just looks very strange to me. Actually, this part doesn't need to be taken out. Okay. Delete. Okay, I think there's more that can be taken out here, but we'll go this far for now at least. And go back into edge mode, and I'm going to fill in some of these faces here, if at all possible. And probably the easiest thing to do is just grab some of these. Yeah, let's just grab some of these edges. And I'm just going to E extrude, go to top view, E extrude. Oops on the x-axis here. And in this area, these vertices are going to be doubled, so it's going to be boxed like those. We'll do an Alt-M and merge at center. Okay, and so now I can kind of start filling in these areas. I can do a extrude, pull that up a little bit. You can shift select the other vertex there, do alt M, merge at last. Same thing here, E, alt M, merge at last. E, 
Alt M merge at last. Oop, didn't want to do that. I need a vertex in the middle there. So control Z. Let's do a E extrude and move that up on the Z axis. Look at it better this way. Just kind of get that lined up there. E extrude. Shift like that one. Hold M at last. And we can fill in this face. Select these four vertices. Face. Okay. Am I missing anything? I hope not. Okay. So, I'm just going to go into edge mode and be a little bit easier. Select these two, make a face. Select these two, make a face. And just basically fill in those areas. So now if we look at it, we can see that we've created sort of our cab. And these top parts are going to be the, uh, the fenders areas. And still, like I say, it's still um, basically being roughed in, so we got nothing but a block here that's chipped away. But at least this is our basic um, block model to move forward and actually modeling, getting the details of the truck. So I'll see you in the next tutorial.